How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to burn music files to a CD so you can listen to them in your car or anywhere else that still uses a CD player. So it's really easy to do. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our internet browser. Okay. And then once that opens up, I'm just going to type in IMGBURN and I'm going to hit enter. And then up is going to come this download image burn link here. Image burn is basically the program that we're going to use to actually put the, the MP3 files onto the CD. So I'm going to click download image burn and you get a couple of different links right here. These are all links to the same program, just different ways of downloading them. I prefer Softpedia, so I'm going to click that and then I'm going to click download now and always use the Softpedia mirror. And then uh, just wait for it to start. It should start downloading automatically, which uh, it does prompt me to, to start downloading, which is good. I'm going to save this download under my downloads and click save. And then in the bottom left corner, if you're using Google Chrome anyway, or Firefox, you should see it right here. So once it's, uh, once it's downloaded, you can click run. And always read this carefully because oftentimes installers will try to install multiple programs when you're only after one. So then you end up with a bunch of different bloatware on your computer that you just never end up using. So I accept the agreement. Next. Um, yeah, this is from an old... Okay, so you won't get this error. This is or not an error, but a warning basically saying it already exists because I've had this program installed before. So I'm just going to click yes. Uh, and this is all default. You can leave pretty much all of this default. If you want image burn to show up on your desktop, then you can create a, create a desktop shortcut and I will. And then yeah, just hit install and it should install relatively quickly. It's not a very, it's not a very large program. It's also a very lightweight program. So it's, it's not very demanding. It can run on all kinds of computers. Anyway, once it's done installing, this should pop up automatically. And this is basically uh, the, the start menu of, of image burn and what we can do is in this case we want to write uh, a bunch of different mp3 uh, files to a cd and what i've done is i've actually created this folder here it's called music for driving and if we we open it up we can see that it just contains a bunch of mp3 files and um and what we can do from there is we can just say okay write files and folders to disk and then we can click this folder icon here and search for that, whatever folder that you're trying to move on to the CD. In this case, it's music for driving. So I'm gonna click that, and I'm gonna hit select folder. And then we just come down here to this, these two, this icon right here. It's basically just a folder with an arrow pointing towards the CD, basically indicating that that's all the, all the files are gonna move on to that CD, and that's just how we burn it. So I'm gonna click that. I've only selected one folder. Yeah, I only want one folder, click yes click yes again, and then click yes. And basically you can just keep clicking yes. You don't even really need to worry about any of that. And then what'll happen is it'll start the actual burning process. Now, of course you need a DVD drive or a, a CD drive or a DVD drive, like a DVD burner um, on your computer. Most desktops have them. A lot of laptops have them, but s quite a few also don't. So but if you, if you do have that and a rewritable CD, then you're good to go. So in this case, I already have a rewritable CD uh, in, in my DVD burner and it's just gonna write easy peasy. So yeah, guys, I know this is a really basic, simple tutorial, but for a lot of people, you know, if I've learned anything from working in Geek Squad, it's that a lot of people don't know the fundamentals. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna, might, I might even start doing more of these tutorials, just really, really basic tutorials. And then of course, if you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you right away. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.